So I already logged into the cPanel for my site. Click on File Manager. All right, so then you're gonna to wanna to go into your public HTML folder. Double click, double click on that. Scroll down and you'll find the WP content folder. Double click on that. And then double click on the plugins folder. So here's all your plugins. So now what I can do is upload the zip file. So I'll come over here and click on upload and I'll find my zip file right here. All right, so it's complete. Now I can click go back to the plugins directory. And if I scroll down to the bottom, I can see my zip file here. So I will select the zip file, come up here and click on extract. And it asks me where I want to extract that into. And I do want to extract it into public HTML WP content slash plugins. That's good. Click on extract files. Click close. And I'm just going to refresh or reload. So now I have my original zip file here, but that when that was unzipped, it created this folder here called S3 Video Player Plus. All right, so that worked okay. So now I can remove my zip file. So I can just select it, click on delete. And that's done. All right, so now that has been uploaded and installed Okay, so we're done with File Manager now. So let's go back to our WordPress site and we'll go to Plugins, Installed Plugins. Okay, so here's the Simple Video Management System. We just need to select that and click on Activate. All right, and I see here that I have an update. So if I click on Updates, it's showing me here that Simple Success Video Management System, I currently have version 3.3, but 3.6 is available. So I will select all, click on Update Plugins. Okay, and I can click on Show Details. Then we'll uh, click on Dashboard. Scroll down till we find Simple Video. Click on that. It wants us to enter in a valid license key. So we'll grab our license key and pop that in there. Click on activate. Now you can click here to go to the simple video dashboard. So I've got my video tab, my grid, settings tab, which contains my license key, shows me my version levels. Click on help. All right. So I should be good to go now. So I hope you found that useful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.